welcome to my channel I'm Gary Wuryawan and in today's video we're doing another everyday photography vlog you can watch the other vlogs up here I made a playlist that you can watch so basically in this challenge I'm trying to force myself to get out and shoot more with my photography gear as opposed to talking about gear all the time on my channel so this is like a practice time for my photography today we're here in a mini zoo called Obelix village here in Yogyakarta it's a really nice place not just for the zoo but just like the overall scenery and the surroundings it's just very nice very natural and I just really love it and today also we're going to try some different lenses as well so I have one particular lens that is still new that's the Panasonic 14 mm f2.5 we're going to try to showcase it in today's video we're going to try to shoot some pictures with it and also try to experiment with the composition the sharpness and just the overall function of that lens for the other gear I'm using as usual my Panasonic GX85 camera and also I have some different lenses that I carry with me today in particular I have the 35 to 100 millimeter telephoto lens that I really love the f4 to f5.6 version the small one I also carry with me the Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2 we'll see if we're going to use it or not and I also brought with me the 20 millimeter f1.7 Panasonic lens but I'm just going to try to focus on the 14 millimeter f2.5 as much as I can all right let's try to shoot some pictures all right so for the first composition of today is just another paddy field but this time we have a good opportunity of using foreground right here we have some plants that are a little bit colorful to complement the drying yellowish paddy field uh, that looks kind of dry and dull so yeah the gear right now i'm using the 14 millimeter f 2.5 so yeah we're going to try to make some uh, compositions today that are interesting and also to take some portraits so the 14 millimeter i'm very comfortable with this focal length because it's very similar to the focal length of what's on my phone usually so yeah i choose these yellow leaves because it looks more colorful than the green one to give it a little bit of contrast to complement the paddy field as I said earlier so this is the composition that I was thinking the yellow leaves as sort of the foreground and then the midground is the paddy field and then the background are those trees behind right there so very simple composition aperture priority I'm setting my aperture to f4 maybe just to get more depth of field so yeah i don't really know if the 14 millimeter is a sharp lens or not you guys please let me know in the comments down below with the sample pictures that you see right now what do you think about the sharpness the color the contrast everything please comment down below so i can have some feedback and input so yeah this is the kind of composition that i want i want to try to raise my camera just a little bit more like that so that the foreground is not too prominent or let's make it prominent I don't really care let's try something like this maybe that way looks more interesting I'm focusing on the paddy field I want the uh, yellow list to be a little bit blurry let's stop down to five six aperture everything else is automatic nice all right all right so another composition for today so i'm going to try to photograph this field of plants right here we have the farmer right in the middle right there so this is kind of like almost a street photography still with the 14 millimeter i'm sorry but i have to be really quick with this photograph because uh, we're photographing live action of the farmer right there with the 14 millimeter i'm trying to stop uh, down to f2.5 not stop down but open up the aperture to f2.5 for maximum blurriness and thinness of depth of field to give me that depth of field effect I think it kind of works all right so we're going to try to take a portrait of my wife still with the 14 millimeter I want to try to learn as much as I can about this lens today so I'm at aperture priority f2.5 we're going to try to make use of this arching kind of flower gates and also the paddy field in the background I think it looked kind of nice so yeah this is the composition that I have in mind my wife right in the middle we're going to try to crouch a little bit I'm at f2.5 because I want maximum background blur we have a little bit of the wind that makes the hair looks kind of nice as well 
I always love the wind effect as long as it's not too crazy and I'm just putting my wife right in the middle because I want to have that kind of symmetry right another portrait of my wife still with the 14 millimeter I'm still at f2.5 I'm going to try to employ those arching flower kits again but this time from different vantage point I'm using them as background I think it kind of look nice right so this is the composition that I have in mind I want to come in a little bit closer with the 14 millimeter so we have a little bit of background blur all right one two three I'm going to raise the vlogging camera just a little bit so you can see one two three we have some people on the background one more time one two three all right one more time one two three nice again nice we're gonna take vertical just to compare between the vertical and the uh, horizontal composition nice all right with the 14 millimeter i can easily take full body portrait but the background blur is not as crazy but I think this will be nice for travel situation because you want some context when you're photographing uh, your wife or your family member when you're traveling you don't want the background to turn into a blurry mush you want some context really nice pose I like that one more time nice all right another portrait of my wife we found this nice flowery garden kind of thing right here with beautiful background yellow flower and also some different kinds of flowers right here I'm with still with the 14 millimeter I'm still at f2.5 aperture priority let's take some portraits of my wife so focusing right on her face something like this all right very simple composition I want to try to showcase the environment I think this is the strength of the 14 millimeter lens really nice because you can get a lot of contacts without making them look too obvious but at the same time you know where you are and you have a little bit of background blur not too much not too crazy your subject can still be prominent in the frame very nice very beautiful I like it all right few more frames I want to try to change the angle a little bit maybe that way we can have more dramatic kind of leading lines with the small pathways really nice one more time let's try horizontal All right very nice look here yes nice one more time I like this pose can you do one more time please and straighter here straight to the camera yeah very nice very lovely all right so we're going to try to take semi macro shot just close up shot of this little flowers right here we're going to try to test the capabilities of the close fo close focusing distance of the 14 millimeter lens let's try it says on the lens right here it's about 18 centimeters yeah not really that close but still close enough for most of the application that we're thinking of oh a little bit of wind but yeah we're just going to try to take the shot f2.5 aperture priority auto iso this is as close as it can get yeah right about here the autofocus is struggling a little bit but yeah we're going to just pull it back a little bit something like that let's try vertical composition yeah look kind of nice let's try this way a little bit angle to above a little bit angle to below and just try to experiment so far i really enjoy using the 14 millimeter for all sorts of different kind of things this is very similar to my 15 millimeter panel like a lens and yeah really cool all right so we're moving a little bit to a different place within this compound and i'm going to try to take an environmental portrait of my wife so imagine we're traveling right now maybe japan maybe new zealand maybe iceland we found this kind of beautiful garden and this is the kind of composition that i will do for the uh, portrait full body portrait 14 millimeter still with the 14 millimeter f 2.5 let's take the picture give me a nice pose right there cool really nice one more time let's try 
something like this i want to emphasize the leading lines let's step back a little bit so we get more of the environment more of the context of where you are i think it looks beautiful let's try to crouch a little bit and try to employ some of the foregrounds to make it look kind of more dramatic something like this i think it look kind of nice one more time really nice how about we go a little bit over here try to use the flowers one two three one more one two three let's try a vertical composition i think it looks more dramatic one two three one more a little bit to the right so i can get that house one two three all right all right i'm going to try to take a picture of my wife again this time we're trying to capture the whole house as a sort of a framing device to help frame my wife in the middle still with the 14 millimeter f 2.5 i'm keeping it at f 2.5 for right now so i'm putting my wife right in the middle this is the composition that i have in mind with 14 millimeter yeah everything looks kind of nice it's white but not too white it's tight but not too tight for this kind of normal white situation i'm going to tr uh, try to crouch a little bit to have more foreground nice all right can you look straight in front of the camera yep very nice couple more pictures a few more look over here last one nice so a quick tip for travel photography for landscape photography for scenery photography if you encounter like a, a very unique object for example this house right here look around you and try to employ some foreground especially if you're using a moderate wide angle like the 14 millimeter that we have today so that you can enhance the picture make it look nicer to have a little bit of layers depth and 3d effect on your picture i think foreground always helps so yeah for right now we don't really have any foreground but if we crouch see right there we have some nice these purpley flowers right there i don't know the name of the, uh, those flowers but as you can see with this kind of uh, foreground you can make the picture look a little bit prettier compared to without foreground so this is without foreground i'm trying to take just one picture so that you can better understand and now if we crouch and we have the foreground something like that let's try to stop down to about five six so that the foreground is not too blurry we have more depth of field i think that's always nice for scenery let's uh, let's crouch a little bit further uh, try to lower the camera even further so we can further emphasize the foreground and that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that you enjoyed today's photography vlog i hope that you're inspired makes you want to go out and try to shoot something and please let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the pictures today especially the one with the 14 millimeter lens what do you think about the sharpness about the contrast the composition the compression that kind of stuff let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and if you want to support my channel even more consider using the affiliate links in the description below and use the super thanks button down below as well thank you and see you on the next video goodbye